review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fight edition of the Brew Review, and what we got for you today is Blue Toad making yet another return no, in this binge. Return with the Blue Toad. So what we have is a flannel can which bears hard cider, flannel apple amber, oh. and of course the American flag, so it's brewed here in the US of A. 5.5% content, so it's it's uh, modest. No, it's and let's see, the dryness scale is at. I gotta look sorry. at that closer. I'm 40 years old, sorry. Semi dry? Semi dry. It's semi dry, so at least it warned you. And there we go. Wide mouth can, as usual, but we will put links below, right here. Right, to the right other there, two right Bluetooth reviews we just did. I feel right like down there. I feel like this can needs black leggings and Uggs and become a basic bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't need flannel at this time. And of, of course, they were established in 2015. Not well, I don't know. It might still be a little cool. Here's the deal. We're not gonna cut that out. Send complaints to nine six nine the whip care of Key. Key. My bad. At least nothing broke. I just wanted to get closer to the action. Old school values, new world sensibilities. Ooh. Bolder than many, more assertive than most. A fusion of tannic apple flavors derived from a blend of locally grown apples creates a highly seasonable copper-colored cider with hints of caramel, molasses, butterscotch, and raisins. There better be fucking some... One of those better be in here. Pack it in, pack it out. One of those better be in here. It was a wine glass. I'm okay. glad that did not break. I yeah. apologize. It's cool. Go ahead and do your thing. Lugless sourced and crafted. Old school values, new world <laughs> sensibilities. I'm from Big Spring. Can't read big words. <laughs> but what was I supposed to do? Oh, yeah. We're going to do the opening the can test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. So without further ado, the toad popped well. Hey, he popped up good. And if you guys haven't reminded yourselves, the TackWagon.com, by the way. TackWagon.com. I smell no different when I do, like, the Swifter test. The Swifter smell test. Well, I, I just don't think your nose is built for the Swift smell test. My nose is built to directly smell shit. Your nose is built for the burying it inside of everything and try to smell something. It smells like cider. Dry cider. It's a very weak cider smell, though. Honestly, I, I have to agree. It smells like the, the dry artist anal. Yeah. But then again, the, the, la that down. the last yeah. semi-dry cider we had from Blue Toad turned out to be a surprise. So, Will this be a surprise again? We're going to find out. Go ahead and pour yourself some. Legs below to the other two. Uh, like I said. This is almost clear. Very clear. Dirty dishwater look. Okay. Yeah, a little lower than the amber. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Honestly, that's like... I should drink a little bit more water piss. Yeah. You want to try it? That's city water. I kind of resent that, honestly. I'm from the city. I'm from However, the you're not wrong. It's I'm from the country. It's like city water. It's I grew up in the country. It's like dirty toilet water. Smell it again. Alright, Blue Tug Hard Cider Flannel Apple Amber. Let's try it. It tastes like a dry cider. Well, they warned you. But uh, I, it's semi dry. It's not. Honestly, if you give it a minute, now this is a weird flavor for me. Aftertaste, if you give it a minute, there's a small hint of raisin. <laughs> A very, very small hint of raisin. Other than that, it is it maybe my mind playing tricks on me. But you've been mind fucked. It's literally it's a regular 
outsider. Sidere. To be honest, it's not really uh, lying. Not like the last one did from Blue Toad. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't That's that Yeah, I don't taste anything else, but I'm not saying you're wrong. My my It taste, doesn't even have an apple flavor. It's just my, yeah, it's dry. Cider. My my taste buds might just be fried by this point cuz we've done 27 of them so far. I lost count. I don't know. Uh, I lost count too. When you lose count, then there's problems. We've done at least 20 episodes in this binge. <laughs> I'm saying my... my it it my helps when there's like, extra people. Yeah, true. My now, team between team the two of us, I think we did 11 episodes, and that was like oh, we, double features and it, shit. Yeah, if we would have done 20 on ourselves... I noticed on in this own, binge, we haven't been done doing many double features. Yeah, if we have done 20 on ourselves, we'd be dead. I, I tell you what, uh, my taste buds almost were fried after that uh, Johnny Bootleg episode. Uh, yeah. That uh, 12% alcohol, baby. Ah! Uh, for the can itself... Oh, it's a cool can. It's a very cool can, and for Blue Toad, the flannel apple, falapel... Falapel. Amber cider. You know what? I'll give it a 3.5. There... It, it honestly does not try to explain much of what's in it, except mm. for the... Hints of caramel, molasses, butterscotch, and raisins. I didn't Bullshit. taste. Bullshit! I didn't taste any of that shit. Bullshit. But it does say flannel apple. I tasted a hint of apple. Yeah, it's an apple cider. It's yeah. It didn't lie. I told you it could be dry. It's a hard we're apple gonna, cider. We're not, give, we're not gonna hit it. It is hard. a semi-dry apple cider with no hints of anything else. Unless your taste buds are fucking virgins, and then you just taste everything under the sun. Other than that, it's... it's should have saved this for Soda Stream Kid. Whatever. It's he he got to come back at least either this season or next season. Anywho, so my thoughts on this Blue Toad Hard Soda Flannel Apple Amber. Middle of the road. Yeah. Middle you know, road. awesome packaging. Catches your eye. I'll give him that. I'm going to say a straight three. The apple was there, but it wasn't strong. It was not strong. Enough. I've had better apple shit than this, so yeah. it, it's okay. But I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. The, the last three that I've said is the, pretty much the same thing I'm going to say now. I've had better, but I've also the had worse. Blue been getting some shit That's here this what week. She said. Yeah, but I've <laughs> all, but I, I mean, the, Blue Toad. I don't know if they're getting shit. It's just they lied on the last one. There's nothing memorable about them. They're okay. And they're, they're they're the basic bitch of ciders. Yeah, they're they're good. Um, honestly, if they would have just come out with a menu that said hard cider, regular, light, or crisp, I think <laughs> that would have been better. That's all they would need. <laughs> you know what? I would agree. I would agree. I'll give it a three and a half. I like the packaging. Uh, it's a cider. It's dry. It didn't offend me. It's not overly dry, though. It, it did not offend. I'll say that much. Well, they, at least they at least they somewhat warned you on this little apple scale. That's what I like about Blue Toad. Said, yeah. Oh, it's some semi-dry. Semi. But no, it was okay. Nothing memorable. Down the middle of the road, all around three. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. This review feature, yeah, review. Review. That's how we speak in big screen. Review. I hope you enjoyed this review of flannel apple amber. Flannel. Flannel. So we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace out, people.